Greetings to my team of 144 all star seeds, love workers, and way showers. It is 7152019. We are in the energies of the full moon, the solar eclipse portals, many crown chakras opening, many intense energies coming in. As we are in the twilight hour, we are in the midnight hour, the most powerful times of the day when the crack between the worlds open, sunrise and sunset. We are in that twilight of sunset when the doorway in between worlds opens fully now. Yesterday I recorded at one of the powerful sacred portals the blueprint for the star seeds and love workers, which the main aspect of the blueprint was the mind-to-mind -mind transmission that I transmitted through my eyes directly from the heart center, the Buddha mind, the Buddha awareness, which you can then transmit through your channels, through your, either through video or if, you know, if you feel the calling or just transmit them to that energy to people that you come in contact. And this is just meant for people that are on mission for the new earth. So when you're watching that video, near the end, when I do the transmission, just quiet your mind as best as you can, relax your body, and look into my eyes as I transmit the energies of the pure awareness of the Buddha mind, of the unborn mind of pure awareness. So as we travel through this eclipse portal in the next 24 hours, depending on when you listen to this audio, keep your awareness in the heart center. We are embodying the new earth. 5D is fully in place now over 3D. And in these final hours, we are transitioning between 3D and 5D. We, it's like a fluctuation. It's a pulse. So many things are starting to appear. The veil is fully lifting now. We are in Operation Breakthrough in the final hours until the full event energies come in. So the New Earth Now from Anna Brown, as we embody the purity of our Christ itself, we begin to lose all linear time constructs and shift entirely into multidimensionality. The embodiment of higher light can give one the sensations of being tranced, disoriented, floaty, and even exhausted due to DNA activating, you shifting into higher dimensional experiences which doesn't require dense time or linear constructs. So that's part of these the end time energies, it's the end of the prisoner of time, the prison of linear time, into fluid time, into nonlinear time, the time of lev levity, joy, bliss. Tonight there were many, at uh, sunset there were many, many clouds, ships in the sky, many different shapes. There was one that looked like a massive dragon. And then as the sun set, a it was like a monsoon struck out of nowhere for about 20 minutes. The winds were intense and just a downpour and the lots and lots of water. Water coming into the field. More signs that the storm is here. The storm of the shift of the awakening of human consciousness. I also met a gentleman today that had like this rainbow shirt on it was like from the caribbean and he worked he was a psychic that worked with that works with the merlin energies and we talked for a while and his birthday is 12 12 who which is also synchronicity with my friend's mother her mother was born 12 12 and passed away many moons ago the divine greek goddess energy 1212 which is the um symbolizing our lady our lady of guadalupe which is the virgin the spanish version of the virgin mary our lady of guadalupe which is december 12th 1212 
And then he gave me his address, and it was 12 for 12. 12 for 12. I thought he was joking around when he told me. Like, I was thinking 12 for 12. Hey, you got 12 for 12. Because then we were talking about uh, the 12 by 12, the 144, 12-strand DNA. We were both getting crown chakra openings, and he was getting these energies. And we talked about Edgar Casey, and I had a ne I wear a necklace that I bought several months ago with the it's the red and the blue scarab with the sun rising above it, and then a crystal above that, which I found from a artist on Etsy. And Edgar Casey had talked about in the end days to wear the scarab with a crystal above it. There's certain code in that energy, and there's certain frequencies. It's kind of like a talisman, and when I told him that, he got chills all through his body and crown tingling. and So all these synchronicities and connections are happening for all of us, and they're just accelerating as we get closer and closer to the final breakthrough. The, it's the final countdown. We are at the midnight hour. We are in the twilight of the new earth, the new Eden. Today, dream from Dream Spell Journey, from Volume Votan is Kin 3, and that's for 715-2019. The Activation Chamber of Abundance, today's Kin 3, Electric Knight 3 Knight is coded 3.3, .3, Seal 3, Tone 3, and 1.3, First Column, Seal 1. Therefore, Kin 3 is Fractal of 33. 3.3, which is the combined power of Volume Votan, VV Kin 11 plus Balone Lilk, BL, Kin 22 equals Kin 3, that's 11 plus 22, 33. Also, 1.3 is a fractal of number 13, therefore, it encodes the vision of Dream Spell 13 Moons Calendar. In the Mayan real time, today is 9 Kab An, 9 Earth. The birth sign of Loidin Balon Ilk in the ancient Maya real time, equivalent to Kin 217, Solar Earth in the dream spell. Kin 217 is part of the prophetic harmonic 55. Today's unified time is Kin 3 plus 217 equals Kin 220, Crystal Sun, which is also the ascension code of Balon Ilk, birth Kin 22. Plus death kin 198 equals kin 220. Kin 3, blue electric night, which has triggered um, a memory. As also, as I was driving home tonight, there were massive flashes of light in the sky. And one of them, this very vibrant, massive flash, and it was like a baby blue color. So I don't know if any of you have seen, saw that tonight too. But this vibrant, electric blue when I just heard blue electric it just made me think of that that vision I saw driving home tonight as these massive clouds were forming and light beams there were light beams all throughout the sky so for the kin through three kin three blue electric night code I activate in order to dream Bonding intuition, I seal the input of abundance. With the electric tone of service, I am guided by the power of accomplishment. Harmonic one, self-existing input. In form, flowering of form. So part of this transition is into art. Time is art. Art is time. We spend our time in the creative heart center. Today's transmission, a couple short transmission, first one from Judith Cousel. After a challenging last few weeks and more to come, powerful changes are coming in. It is as if vast burdens are being lifted from us, yet with it come deep cleansing, clearing, and releasing. The vital life forces of renewal are upon us, and these forces are sweeping in where a void or vacuum has been created, which they will fill. I have been through a lot of soul searching in the last few weeks, having to dig very deep, yet it has been so worthwhile. I gained so much clarity and finally understood for many things as I gained the bird's eye view, the cosmic perspective. Fear not the changes. 
go delve deeply into it all, let go of fear. The forces of renewal do bring uncertainty, do bring in changes on all fronts. Understand that you do not need to be in control. There is a much greater master plan unfolding here, a much greater galactic upgrading, which including our solar system and this planet. You are but one little cog in which within the greater whole, yet you are important. The whole cannot be completed without you. It is time to surrender to the greater will, the divine master plan. Much of this is preordained and your soul agreed to this at some level. You may have forgotten the details, you may have forgotten so much, yet you will always be brought into the highest alignment again when you ask for it and you, when you surrender the reins. Surrendering does not mean that you are not in charge of your own life and live it as best you can. It means that you merely allow the greater will to unfold by placing yourself and your whole life in highest service to the divine. Allow your ego to step out of the way. The waves of renewal will at times feel like tsunamis, for in truth we will be pulled with the vital life forces into the 5D and at accelerated speed. The whole cosmos is gathered here to assist this process. What a time to be alive and well on planet Earth. And this is from Judith Cusell, K-U-S-E-L dot com. The second transmission is from Anastasia Campos from Blue Beyond Guide. Dear Ascended Masters, or Ascending Masters, this was shared in the private New Light Paradigm Gathering, and we are guided to share this with all. A new world. Frustration, anger, anxiety, rushing the old, coming through. A new balancing of old energies of the Divine Masculine. Taking a moment or moments for however long, this is for you to feel this and release this flow of these old ancient emotions and for our planet as well as this is not just for you. This is used transmuting for the whole of the greater good for all of humanity as well. Please know this, this is much bigger than just you right now. We have felt and are feeling a tectonic shift from Australia flowing out from and into the whole and rest of the world. We are leading in energy updates and upgrades from our little country right here and now, their solar plexus of the world. We are shining through our vessels so much more with humanity's ascension now more than ever. We are belonging in this gathering energy to help Australia and the world to do this right now. We are shining through and you have got this and more than got this on some layer and level now coming into the Christ consciousness in our human body, our embodiment of the spiritual, astrals, and all the energies of the universe as they are all within you right here and now. It all starts with us. It begins with you and you being right here and right now is a huge, huge part of the blessing we are bringing through to all of humanity right now in our human existence. It is up to you to choose to be in or link to your human embodiment and it needs to be conscious to grow further, to be whole, to ascend. This is the very purpose we came down into our meat suit, so to speak, yes, our divine vessel in the human flesh. As a living, breathing vessel of the human divine, or in the divine and the human being, without this we could not ascend further than we have before. And this takes real mastership in the human being as new ascending earth masters in a new light paradigm gathering of newly enlightened souls of the cosmos. And it all comes down to making a human soul earth choice to be here, right here and now. Have you checked in with yourself, your soul lately, and asked, have I done this yet? Have I made a soul conscious choice to be here, to remain, to end the karmic cycle, to surrender and let go, and have freedom of letting the divine in, of trusting myself deep, deep within, of trusting myself and the divine hand in hand with my spirit higher self with my soul how do I do this well I just start to trust and believe pray ask and hand over surrender and I mean really hand over all again and again and again as self-doubt comes into play here from so much wounding from our past <clears throat> a past of so much trouble and confusion just to be here I know you may know this, but how many of you are really feeling this deep within? 
said with so much unconditional love, truth, and honesty, and will share more soon as guided with this earthquake that hit Western Australia, and there's so much more to this than meets the eye, so to speak. Remember, ease up on yourself and put the stick down. Much divine love and blessing always. As always, I am right here with you. You are masters, you are ascending, and we are gathering. Much unconditional love, truth, and honesty. From Anastasia Campos, the Blue Beyond Guide. So here we are <clears throat> in this major energetic eclipse doorway as we step on through to the other side. The eyes of our spirit are opening. The truth is emanating out from our heart. So if you haven't I had the chance yet check out my last video the blueprint for the new earth to manifest new earth for the star seeds and there it's the first time through this medium that I was able to do this transmission after many years of teaching and giving transmissions it was the first time I was allowed or able to give this transmission through video out into this realm so if you feel the call, watch the blueprint for star seeds and love workers. And there is a small mission that I transmit in that video that if you feel a calling to for you to do. So have a beautiful and blessed lunar eclipse, full moon, portal opening. Let us know what you're experiencing, what you're feeling through these energy shifts, through this massive breakthrough portal. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us on this mission, joining our team of 144. I'd like to thank everyone that are that is on mission for the Healing Retreat Center in Ecuador. You can join in the fundraising through a CBD business at cbdpeaceoil.com. I'll put the links in the description below this video. I'd like to thank you all for sharing your love, your light, your truth your experiences in the comments below these videos and connecting with all light workers and star seeds through this medium through the field through the realm of the dream world as we awaken from this dream into that which is real which is our infinite multi-dimensional self our true self our highest self we realize make real that we are one with the great spirit, with God, creator, the great mystery. And that is the greatest prayer for life, to be one with source, one with God. Because I and my mother, father, God, are one. There is no separation, only in the dream, only in the illusion, the false matrix, what is called Maya, the simulation, the simulated world of the mirror effect of consciousness where we reflect out into this realm what we are experiencing from within the 73 into the 37 heaven on earth as we transmit through our divine center out into this realm the new earth the new eden the new atlantis shambhala so thank you for being here now in these most challenging times we are here at the zero point the tipping point the twilight hour as all is manifest all is blossoming into the light into the life of the eternal truth the eternal mind be in the peace and the light and the life of the holy spirit the sacred spirit father mother god prime creator i love you all Namaste.